Hello everyone and welcome back to another Medieval Engineers video. Today we're looking at something big. Something massive. Something that goes up. And up. And up. And up. And up. And up a bit more. Up a bit more. Up. And there we go. So yeah, this is one big tower. This is over higher than the Eiffel Tower. It's about 302 to 304 meters in height. Um, so yeah, it's something to behold. It's pretty, pretty um, impressive. Now, of course, this wasn't built with structural integrity turned on because this is ridiculous and they didn't have anything this tall in the medieval times. So you could say it's cheating a bit, but the main point of this is to actually just show off the crumbling and the particle effects, which look incredible. So yeah, that's the main point of the video. Uh, there will be performance issues and again, but this is an unrealistic scenario. So you wouldn't really have this much destruction going on in a normal game. So let's just, uh, I've, now instructional integrity is turned on and it, it gets a bit overwhelmed because of all the calculations of the, the ridiculous height. So you kind of have to give it a little helping hand here to get, to get started. It'll get going. But, oh, I mean, that is just, already there's just so many particles. I mean, yeah, chunks of rock. So I'm just firing some cannonballs unrealistically up at this tower and you can just see it just spraying out in a circle around the yeah just look at that it's all a bit in slow motion but that kind of that kind of helps to see but yeah i mean like i said a second ago i it is an unrealistic scenario for performance because I mean, yeah, she might destroy a whole castle, but not this quickly. And so here there's a lot of particles going off and it, the computer's trying to calculate them all in their direction, the velocity um, at once. And you'd probably, it would probably be a more, um, a slower pace thing if in real life. But still, it looks awesome. And you can just climb the, the tower, the, the piles of rubble So I'm just going to do it a second time. Um, oh yeah, this is just showing uh, one of the tests it um, actually fell on me. And I just think this could be rubble is potentially in survival going to be something that kills you a lot. Um, <laughs> so there, you see my player getting crushed, which is, which is great. But yeah, you can imagine uh, enemies being below a castle or, or even friendlies, you know, and it just collapses and the piles of rubble crush everyone below yeah i just i just when you fire it and you just see them shatter outwards it's just such a cool effect it kind of reminds me of the end of lord of the rings when the tower of the all-seeing eye collapses yeah. I'm sure most of you have heard that Medieval Engineers is actually releasing tomorrow for a 24 hour period on the developer's official store. So if you're desperate to play, don't forget to pick it up tomorrow. They're calling it the early access to the early access. Oh, that cannibal is going for the top. Boom, boom. Now I know a lot of you have been asking for more mechanical videos and I promise that I will bring more of those very soon. I just had this one on my list to do. I already had some of the footage so I had to get this one out of the way. But there will be mechanical stuff coming up next. Right. So now I'm flying down the tower and I'm firing projectiles at it as I move down. You can see I'm actually moving down the same speed as the projectiles right now. And this is just to see all the rocks and all the stone. And they just look up and oh, 
Holy shit. Oh my god. That is just, I mean, come on. That is just crazy. <laughs> Oh god. Yeah. Bouncing all over the place. It'd be interesting to see how much it improves in the future, because obviously this is pre-alpha. So in terms of performance and in terms of calculations, all kind of stuff. So it, you know, it, this is unrealistic and it works okay. I mean this is going this was flying up from the bottom and flying up, destroying it. And again, that is a lot of particle effects right there. That were a lot of um, separate bits of rubble. Damn. And this shot here just shows the spread and how all the separate pieces are dispersing. And you can see that they're bouncing for like hundreds of meters from the main base of the tower. In the future, I believe that you'll be able to collect this rubble and reprocess it to turn it back into useful building materials. Now, all the rubble will eventually disappear, and that's obviously to help performance. But I guess in the future, you'll be able to set how long it takes to disappear, or if you want it to disappear at all. That's everything for today, guys. I hope that you found the video interesting and that you were impressed by the particle effects and the crumbling and destruction. But for now, I'll see you guys next time.